Hey guys, Zuljin here, and welcome back to another episode of Pixar. Wow. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Squisher, are you ready to build a jacuzzi, baby? Yeah, okay. It's about time, huh? So, we're going to put together a little jacuzzi room for Squishy today. I thought I would just lay down some sandstone floor to kind of set the base. It's a little bit more tiley than I wanted, but I don't think I could do sand. The sand is quite tiley as well. And it might just grow stuff. <laughs> so sandstone is probably the closest I can get that I want in color. The first thing that I want to do is set up an accent wall. Now I decided that I was going to do it in this area. Because A, the original idea that we had for this area is really no more. Because I'm having all sorts of things climb down from there. B, I wanted to have a view of a waterfall feature. Uh, and C, I just needed a window in general. And I would have had to dig very, very far and have a lot of area out. So, I've did some builds like this in the past in Minecraft before. And I think I want to do like a six wide type deal. Um, well, a six tall type deal. And I don't know how wide yet, but I'm going to try to play around with it. Oh, hello, um, <laughs> Griffin. Um, I have I have Drax's uh, Herald in there uh, right next to Fidget. And I guess every once in a while he just moves. Anyway, uh, what we want to do is set up a little accent wall here. And I'm not too positive of the shape yet. The room's probably going to be pretty square, but they might have something dynamic on one of the sides or whatever. Maybe the window will be uh, a little dynamic. I'm not too sure yet, but at any rate, let's get started here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put down probably sandstone walls. And that's going to be the background. And the foreground is going to be wood walls, okay? Uh, solid wood walls. In fact, I don't know if I don't want to come out... I might need to square this off. That's probably what I'm going to need to do. Yeah, because some of this area is just going to be like hallway or whatever. Because this area is probably going to meet and be closed in. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do that yet. But anyway, uh, <laughs> let's get started with this. So the background is going to be walls. So we'll just do it like this. Let's say that's probably wide enough for what I want to do at first. And not going to fit anywhere else. Let's go on top now. And we'll do... That's as high as we're going to want it right there. So we should be able to place all the way. And what this is going to allow me to do is make some like unique shelving. Kind of like I did in the magic room with the little insets. I like that. I like that design concept a lot. It just gives a lot of depth to a room and stuff. Uh, also, you're not, you don't belong there. All right. And uh, I hope I have enough walls. I dug quite a bit of sandstone for this. Um, and I originally said that I was going to do it with cryolite, but I think I'm going to do cryolite for the bathroom. I might do some cryolite features in here. But for the most part, it's going to be sandstone. Okay. So, now we have a huge sandstone wall. It's an eyesore, right? <laughs> it's okay. We're going to fix it. Uh, so, let's go with wood. Now, we're going to make this whole thing wood walls. And then we're going to go... Oh, that might be too high. One, two, three, four, five. No, that's just high enough. I Actually, I made these walls too high, but that's okay. So, we're going to cover all this up and then we're going to pull what we don't want out of it. Uh, which is just going to be some unique shapes that give the wall a little bit of character. That's about it. So I hope you guys are doing well. Squish and I are a little bit nervous about some stuff. Uh, we have a, a, a reformat that's about to happen. Do you even know what a reformat is, Squishy? So what a reformat is is basically when you wipe everything off your computer and you start from scratch. I uh, bought some recent, I bought some hard drives, actually, some new SSD hard drives for my computer. And um, in order to get everything nice and, and working, I guess it would be easier if I did like this. Um, I'm going to erase everything and start from scratch. So naturally, because I use this computer for YouTube and Twitch, there's a bunch of recording stuff. It's not just like reinstalling my games and going from there. It's actually a little bit more involved in that, unfortunately, because 
<laughs> I'm I'm kind of nervous about it, you know. I'm really nervous about it, but I imagine it's gonna be okay. So anyway, I'm recording this, and right after I do this and upload it, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the dang thing. So I'm pretty nervous anyway. That's that's the way the wall is gonna be for now, and then I just want to get some ideas about storage. So, um, what I can do right here, for instance, is take. So the ceilings, the, the actual, whatever the roof is, will be on top of this. So I have the whole six wall spacing to use. So let's just go right here and pull out a one, two, three, four. Okay. So that'll be a shelf. There'll be some stuff up there. Okay. Um, and then I can do possibly like one, two, three, four, five, six, and I can do something that might look like a closet right here or something. Um, we can do a couple of, a couple more shelves like right here and then start out. No, I don't want to do it like that. That's probably a little bit too low. Um, hmm. So let's do this instead. Let's put this back. I just want to make it some unique shapes, you know? Like, I don't want it to be just run-of-the-mill stuff. What I'll do is I'll make this spot, actually. The little closet. And I'll do some more shelves right here. And I think I'll do not at the same height as that one. So I'll do it, like, here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. And then I'll start here. But I'll go longer on this one. There we go. Now that's nice. I can even do something uh, right here. Now, that's a good little shape, right? That's a good little shape. Now I'll be able to put like some decorations and stuff on here and have that nice wall. So as far as this wall, we already know it's going to be glass. But what kind of shape do we want? Uh, I also wanted like a little plant wall. I could make this wall glass actually because it's still overlooking the water and I can fix all the water with my water blocks that I spawned in. So hmm, I might just do like a little plant wall here. So I wanted to, eventually I wanted to do some trees and stuff. Uh, actually, I wanted to do bamboo, but there's no way you can get bamboo in the game. Like there's no bamboo seeds or anything. So I might just do some tree features in here or something like that. I'm not real sure yet. I do want a glass wall though, and I don't know which way I should start it. Maybe I'll just do the glass wall here. Maybe I'll just do the glass wall here. So for the glass wall, I'm going to need, I think we're gonna go out like so. Um, the, the It's gonna be wood right here, so I'm gonna have to put wood. Let's do like this. And we'll do three, and then one, two, and then one, two again. And the rest of this will be wall again. So let me just mark this off. Oops. I hope that did not call anybody. Uh, <laughs> all right. So that's that's what we'll do. So we need floors, wood floors. Uh, I don't even think, no. I need to actually make some. Foundations. Uh, oh, maybe it is called floors then. Yep, here we go. Okay, wood floors. We're going to need probably 10 of these. And I don't know if this is exactly what I want, but something... Uh, man, if I don't quit pressing that button. Um, <laughs> I needed to... Oh, wait, was that it? Floors. There we go. I don't know if this is going to look like I want it. Yeah. Because glass is going to be on top of this, okay? And I know you're saying glass foundations. Trust me. You don't want glass foundations right here. All right. And we can have some connecting pieces right here as well. So let's do... Hmm. Yeah, because I'm going to need walls right here as some sort of... 
I don't know if we should do wood for it, though. I'm thinking... Yeah, I guess wood would probably look best. What did I use here? I just used the stone here, and it looked pretty good. But this is going to be a different thing altogether. Let's go get some glass and see. I just need walls, and I'm pretty sure I have quite a bit of that stuff. Uh, we're getting less and less and less organized in here, but eventually I'm going to build something real nice here. Let's see. Uh, glass walls. I'm probably going to need some more, which is not a problem. I have plenty of glass. Okay. And let's do walls. Um, do we just make them in our inventory? Seriously? It's been a while since I made these. Um, okay. <laughs> Maybe not. Glass. <laughs> Let's look. Glass. Oh, I bet you it's like workbench or something. Glass wall. Requires wood wall. Can only be crafted at workbench. Man! Consolidate your stuff, game. Sheesh. Oh, look. I already have glass walls. Derp. Well, we ain't got to worry about that anymore. <laughs> nice. Okay. So, let's just do glass walls right here and see how it looks. Walls. Man. What is wrong with me today? Yeah, that looks fine like that. That looks fine. The only thing is we're going to need some connecting pieces, I think, because it might look a little weird in the corners. Like, no, maybe not. Maybe not. I might be able to do something like um, rails or something like that to make it look fine. But this is just going to be the glass thing, okay? And uh, we can stack it up like we might come back with connectors. I don't know. I'm just speculating at this point. Okay, so that's the wall. Is it is it overbearing? I don't think so. I think it's fine. I think any extra glass would make it look weird, like the connectors that I was thinking about, kind of like over there, you know? Yeah, I don't want that at all, so I'm not going to connect it. See, I thought about coming in between, like right here and connecting, right here and connecting, you know, but I don't, I don't think it needs. Okay, and as far as this goes... It's going to have, like, a glass door set up and stuff to be able to get in. But this is going to be mostly wood walls. So what we need to do is just cover it right now uh, with wood. And then we'll, um... And then we'll decide, like, the dimensions of everything else. So on the outside, I am going to need... I could do this with glass just to finish it, but I think... I'm just going to finish it with wood. And I can take this away. Okay, good. All right. So we have the wall done. And now we just need to make the very back portion of it. And that is going to go here. And we're probably going to do <clears throat> kind of the same thing. And I don't know how I'm going to intersect it yet. So I guess I need to kind of figure that out. But I'm going to wall this off. Figure out where the door is going to be. Put some windows. and uh, And then we'll go from there. All right, guys, I got the rest of the walls laid out and I actually put the ceilings up there and I don't like these ceilings. So I did the same thing as I did in that foyer and I put the walls on top of it. So I still have yet to take these out, but that's eventually what I'm going to do as the build progresses. I just need to get on top and um, I, I need to put some scaffolding out or I could do it like this, but this is going to take me a little while at any rate let's look at uh putting down the jacuzzi and where we're gonna have the doors out so i just put this hole in the wall just so i can get in and out i got a terrific home buff here which is nice <laughs> i keep losing it though okay so i want the the deal to be three by three right i want it to be pretty much square and it needs to be a few away from the glass wall because we're i, I don't want to have to conform to it for a tub now, this is going to be a little complicated because of the way that water works, and I think we're going to have to go down too many. So, this needs to be too deep, technically. Um, but I don't know, because Squishy is very short, right, Squishy? So, <laughs> I don't want him to drown. 
I, I, I don't know. We, we'll, we'll have to mess around with it. So let's go ahead and take care of this. And that is still probably not going to be close enough now that I think about it. So let's go ahead and pull these out instead. And neither of these are foundations. Yeah, no. Foundations. There we go. All right. So this will be this will be a good deal right here. Now these all need to be wood. All right, and uh, honestly, yeah, these need to be wood too. All right. So the surrounding needs to be wood walls. Um oh, you know what? We're going to have to do we're going to have to do something else here because the walls, we need foundations, but the found wood foundations look ridiculous. <laughs> they really do. I wonder what the western ones do. Western western ceilings. Uh these do attach to foundations, I do believe. Let's try it out. How does that look from the side? Uh it doesn't really do it, huh? And Let's see, crafting ceilings, the wood ceilings, actually these should work. So how many do we need? Uh, 12, I think. There we go. That should work. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, I was starting to worry there for a minute. Um, oh, we're going to need some more. Not many, though. You can just craft them straight out. And one more. All right, we have the base for the hot tub. Uh, okay, so naturally this is going to have water in it. But I need to probably just test that out really quick. Um, Squishy, you up for a little, uh, <laughs> you up for a little experiment, buddy? Oh. All right, let's try this out, okay? We're gonna have to pull this away again, but let's just put the water in. It's weird, it, it's labeled as stone, I know. And uh, uh, again, guys, if this is the first time you're watching my videos, I spawned these in. I did a poll with the audience, they said it was cool. So here we go. All right, Squishy, get in there, baby. All right, um, are you losing oxygen, my buddy? Let's see. Your oxygen is not going down, Squishy. That's good. That's really good. All right. That means you could take a bath in there, boo. All right. So what we probably should do is get the bottom done. Um, let's go ahead and just fill this in for now. I kind of hate to take it away. Um, oh, we're going to have to put a regular block to stop it, I guess. What, like clay or something? Um, that didn't work. Let's try it right here. There we go. All right, it goes away. Uh, I was about to say, wasn't that stone before? Um, okay, so we could probably do, like, stairs on the bottom. And then just have one deep in the middle right here. So, we're going to have to mess around with this for a little bit. Uh, I heard an origin. I'm not super worried about it, but... Okay. So, this is going to be a little weird, right? Because this area right here... Wow. This is going to be tough. Um, let's see. What we need is it to come out this way. And you can't place when you're underwater. See, that's the weird thing, alright? So, what we probably need to do is drop sand down. Unless... Yeah, because I would have to come all the way from right there. That's probably going to be pretty difficult. Actually, maybe not. If it'll place... <gasps> Perfect. We were just close enough to the edge. That works out fine. Yes! Alright, beautiful. So, now we can actually empty the water out just like that. Uh, do I have any more dirt? Yeah. Or is this sand? No, that's sand. This is dirt. Texture colors are so close to one another. 
All right. And wrong. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so now we can actually do stairs. And I guess I'm just going to go with the wooden stairs. Let's see here. I wish we had like light blocks, but I do have that uh, those blue blocks that we did get. So maybe that'll be pretty cool. Okay. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> um, okay. Q. Q. Beautiful. Just like this. Oh, baby. All right. Now, for this spot right here, we're going to need one of those uh, cool little blocks that we found, right? So let's go. I think I'll put it in the decor box. Yes. Beautiful. That's all I need is one, I think. I wish they produced light, but... Okay. Oops. Ha! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> oh, we screwed now. <laughs> we screwed now. <laughs> Hold up. Oh, dang it. I need to put a ladder, like, right there. Now I gotta go all the way around. Sheesh. I used to have a ladder right there. There we go. I used to have a ladder right there, but I guess it got broken. Either that or I took it down. Okay, the outside looks terrible right now, by the way. But we're going to cover that up with sandstone and stuff and, and, and fix it all up. It's going to look fine once we do it. Interior is the most important right now. Uh, the outside of the base is still uh, to be determined, right? All right, so let's make sure that we don't fall again. Oh, I need something to place this down on. Probably a foundation or a ceiling. Okay. I wonder if I could just make a ladder here. I can. I'm going to just put some ladders on the outside because I'm going to need them. And for now, I'm just going to put a hole right here. That way I can get up and down. Ladder. All right. And there we go. And let's just put another one like right there. Cool. We should be able to get in and out now if we need to, uh, which we will. So as far as placement goes for this, let's just go ahead and get down here and see what we can do. I'm going to need one more down so I can set a foundation on it. Um wonder if I can just... No. Oh, you know what? Sand. Sand, sand, sand. This will just make it easier. I need to go form some more sand, too. I formed a lot of sandstone, but not a whole bunch of sand recently. There we go. All right, that's full. Now, uh, I should be able to do a foundation here. That's not what I wanted to do. All right. Foundation. And then I can do... Ah, look at that. Hot dog, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now, and I love the way these foundations do right here because it kind of shows a lip. So that's really neat. Okay, let's pull out the water now. All right. It acts so weird. Uh, we're probably going to have to put down a block right here. Oh, wait. That's not what I wanted to do at all. It fell on top of the actual... Uh, that's so strange. It went on top of the stair. That's interesting. That might be... A neat mechanic we have to explore later. Okay, first let's take the dirt. 
so since this doesn't want to really go in the middle or whatever, okay, now it's going to be a steel water block in the middle. Fine. Man, water works so weird in this game. You would think it would just flow all over the place, and I guess it doesn't when you're working above ground with it. How is that going to work when we start doing, like, fountains? I have no idea. So it's barely visible. <laughs> like, very barely visible. But we might be able to do something neat with that as well. So as far as the sand and all of this goes, let's go see if we can put one of those lamps underneath to kind of give it a fiery type, like a, a, a bubbling water type deal. I have a lamp over here. Hello, Drax. Drax is sleeping. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's put one of the lamps down here. And not only will it provide some light, because this stuff goes through walls. The light that it produces goes through walls. So, if we were to go underneath... This is going to be weird. Uh-oh. I have uh, some friends out. Excuse me, guys. Alright, now this lamp. Where is it? There we go. Can I put it right here? No. Okay, what if I put a foundation right here now and now put the lamp? No. I guess it's because it's water. Okay, so, uh oh, that ain't good. So, what we're gonna have to do is build around it, like with the sand. I don't think I have nearly enough sand to be able to do this. Not even close. Yeah, now this water flows all over the place. But what we're going to need is to be able to put sand here. Oh my god, I'll tell you what. Let's just pick this up for now. Oh. <laughs> That's actually kind of rough. And now that we have the stairs, we can just go on the sides. So we're going to need to do some stuff with the sand and kind of enclose that area. I think I'm going to have to go grab some more sand first though. So I ended up enclosing it, guys, and it looks good from the bottom. Well, it's not gorgeous or anything, but what I mean is it's all secure. And I wanted to do this while it was still kind of dark because look how awesome it looks. Now, the fire you can barely see, which I don't know if it would be a good thing or a bad thing to put glass down there. Um, you'd be able to see the entire flame through it if it would be that and I don't know if that's exactly what I want right now this seems pretty darn good right this is uh, this is pretty darn good I do think this fits fine so the jacuzzi itself is pretty much done um, now we need to worry about the walls here and I want to do kind of the same thing as I did with the glass deal on this side so I did glass and I need to put a window on the side but I don't think I'm gonna use the, the 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 window windows I don't even know if there is a glass window let's see glass hold on Ingram's window there we go stone window there is a glass window okay that takes copper and glass so let's go quickly inside We'll grab a few copper here, and I'm sure it's a workbench. I didn't even check, but window. There we go. I don't know if I'm going to want these or if I'm just going to do glass um, walls in the wall to make it look right. But we can see. Okay, so let's see. We're going to want a, a large glass door here. I guess this is an okay place for it. And we do have that. I think it's called a gate. Yeah, there we go. So let's do the gate like right here. All right. Hmm. I really don't care for the color of it. But I suppose it'll do. It's kind of hard to tell right now too. Oh, I do also have this helmet on. Let me take it on. And the ambience is still there. Um, but naturally it does help when I have the candle helmet on because... You guys could see a little bit better when I'm working in the dark. Okay, so as far as windows go, if we put a window right here, 
I don't think I'm gonna like this one bit. But I'm gonna try it just because I already made the windows. I mean, it's not terrible. <laughs> it's not terrible, but at the same time, I think just glass walls would probably do too, right? Let me go ahead and... Okay, E, pick up glass window. Let's just put some glass walls down and see what it looks like. We won't need the water anymore. I think I like that. Hmm. Man, I really don't know. Actually, <laughs> I think it does look better with the windows. But I want a divider in here, so let's go ahead and pick this up first. Then we're going to put more walls down. That's not what I want. We want the wooden walls. Okay. So this is going to be a gate. It's kind of... Yeah, that works. Okay. Now we can do the wall here. Did it... The hail? <laughs> is it a ghost block or something? So weird. Yeah, it must be a ghost block or something. Oh, well, I'll worry about that later. Okay, we'll do the window here. And then on this side, we'll kind of do the same thing. We'll put a window here. And that should work for this wall, I'm thinking. Since we still have room to do like a corner feature here and there's room to do some shelving here. I don't even, there's not going to be a window here, but I do want to do some sort of corridor. So right now it's going to be the glass, but that'll probably change to tell you the truth. So I have a little bit of gray mixed in here, which is fine too. I also want to do a rug and I put together this red dragon rug. These rugs are so dadgum expensive. I do not want to mess this up, but I think I'm just going to do a three by three rug. Let's see, did I put it in decoration or did I even take it out? I don't even think I took it out. The uh, the workbench, there we go. Red dragon skin carpet. I'm hoping it doesn't look weird because I like, I like the red. I think red accents would be good and you can't really paint thatch carpets or anything or fur, so that might just be a thing. All right. Um, First of all, the block is bothering me so much. Can I just uh can I just put dirt here for now and see and if it if it I wonder if it'll Oh no. Alright, yeah, it's just gonna uh <laughs> it's just gonna have to 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 remedy itself. I can't fix it right now. Man. Alright. So we have a three by three, but we wanna we wanna keep it Maybe I won't do a three by three because this is already a three by three look. Maybe I'll do eight. If I do an eight, uh, it'll be four by two. I think that's going to be a better choice here. Four by two, and we can do it starting right here. So let's go Q. Four by two. It might look kind of long. We might need to make it even bigger than that. Yeah, I think so. If I want it big enough, I think I'm going to have to do it. Let's see. Okay. So now, yeah, because 3x3 three three would just be right here. I want it to come out at least a little bit more. Actually, I'm going to have to make a few more rugs, guys, because I don't have enough. Let's see what kind of fiber and fur I have on hand. I know I have plenty of fur. Fiber might be a deal, though. Let's see. Fiber. That looks like plenty, huh? <laughs> That's where you're wrong. <laughs> it's crazy how much this stuff costs per. Um, but honestly, I think I only need like th three more if I want to do that. Is there any more fiber in here? No. Okay, this will have to work. This will have to work. Uh, red. There we go. Only two, huh? Yeah, that is not going to be enough. I need like 80 more fiber. I'm, I'm just going to have to go get a little bit more, guys. 
So I put together a couple of chairs. I already had a western table, and I think that's what I'm going to put in the corner here. Just like that. I'm going to have to move the door over by one, which isn't a problem. It's going to be a different setup anyway, right? So let's just go with the walls again. And we could just set the walls, oh, right here. <laughs> All right. Pick that up. Put the door back. Again, it's going to be a different kind of door sooner or later. All right. The western table looks good right here. I think I'd like to paint it red, but I don't know because there's this there's this cool chair that I found. This is uh, the Mediterranean chair, and it's it's quite blue and it's it's sort of beachy, right? You could pick it up as well, and that's good because I actually wanted to try to see if I can do a uh, some paint on it. So I have red die loaded in my little spray gun here and let's see here so two three four five six let's just see no you can't paint it at all the table as well does not hold paint uh we got some other kind of chairs that i'd like to just try out this is a a, a flash rock chair and it's kind of just like a stool so that isn't what we're going to use right here. Uh, also, there's another chair that I had. It's the Western Wood chair. And I even made a, uh, a sea crystal. Well, I, I was about to make a sea crystal chair. So that didn't look too bad. And that kind of conforms with the same look as the table. Although that looks more like dinnerish than anything else. I really like the Mediterranean chair. I think that's what we're going to go with, to tell you the truth. So let's go ahead and pick this sucker up. We'll do another Mediterranean chair right on the side. I think I still have the stuff to do it. Uh, there's my sea crystal that I made. Mediterranean. There we go. Stuff takes blue dye. I had made a whole bunch at first because I thought I was going to do a lot more Mediterranean than I did. But it's it's going to come. There's going to be some themes with Mediterranean stuff. Right now, I'm enjoying the fact that the walls are very, very, very um, white. You know, it's a, it's a good look. Okay, so Mediterranean. Use. And bam. Okay, that's the little corner. I do like it. Uh, Miso. What in the world are you doing? <laughs> I may have whistled him inadvertently. Come on, Miso. Get in the hole, baby. So them stupid origins don't attack you. There you go. Sit right there. And you left some poop. Thank you very much, Miso. That's just what I needed. Uh, all right. So I still have quite a few decorations to put as well. This is the, 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 the sea creature deal that I had got from the underwater temple. Drax got one as well. That makes such a great deco, man. I love it. Uh, there's a couple bottles that I have. I'm just going to put some here and there, guys, just to make it look a little bit different. Okay. I've got uh, some vases that I can put. One large one in the corner, I think. Uh, let's see. We got a few bags, too. Not that those will look really, really good. Also thought about trying to mess around with a lamp. I do want to see what this chair looks like as well. This is a stool as well. Okay. You know, a stool might not look bad around here, but I don't know. I'll tell you what. Let's just do the stool right here in the corner. You know what? Even though it's a chair, I'm going to put it on the shelf because it, it, it can represent something that is like a decoration. That's a great deal, man. I like that. The, the walls and the shelves don't need to be filled specifically full, you know? So we'll put one right there. We'll put a little set of bags right here, I think. All right. And we can put one of these crystals right here, too. I think that might actually be too big for what I want. No, it doesn't look bad. 
It does not look bad at all. So as far as this is concerned, we need something here that looks pretty cool. We could do the large vase. Like right here and maybe a plant. Or we can do something like this. Oh, I need another one. Let's just do one more of those. Uh, decorations. We also have barrels. I'll do a couple more of these. The sarcophagus might be a little bit too weird for this area. Might not be exactly what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that out for now. Everything else I believe I could do a wall torch somewhere that I'm not really going to burn. Uh, everything else... I need to get organized here. But I think that's probably pretty good for the wall decor. Uh, I was thinking, like, this little setup down down here that I have with a lamp and the crystal right on top, I won't need it for this room, but that I think that would make a cool little lamp. Just like one of the wall, one of those golden lamps with that on top of it might look really cool. Uh, let's do the other pot just right here. There we go. That'll be a little centerpiece. And uh, I think we'll have to do maybe some chairs or a little table over here. I know there was some tables that I can just craft out right. One of the regular wooden tables might not look too bad right here. So we'll do that. There we go, just right there. Um, even though it's a little bit overkill, I might just do one of those right there as well. I would love to do potted plants, but they're a little hard to keep up with. I'm going to do a, um, a wall torch right here. Why don't you want a place? There you go. For some reason, it wouldn't place at first. And I think I just want to do a couple little shelves here with some deals. Um, I wanted a hanging lighting fixture, but I don't think I have any chandeliers or anything. Um, it might be kind of cool to do something like that. And I might do another rug here and stuff as well. So I ended up adding some more details. And I still have one to put down. I decided to put a little chair and some table features right here. I'm going to do a candle on top of this table. And can I place a candle on top of this one? No. You can't place... <laughs> God dog it. You can't place candles on tables. That's the most ridiculous thing in the world, I think. It's crazy. You can't place one on this one either. It just wants to go down. Oh, my God. Like, I could literally place one, but it would be floating, right? It would be... God dang it. It's just not going to work. Let's just do another candle right here. I can't do a candle on a wall placement, I guess. No, because that's a wall, and it's not. Well, we could put a second candle. We could, we could put a candle, like, on the side right there. Yeah. A couple little candles for some romanticness. Uh, not that Squishy's gonna be getting all freaky or anything. Wow. <laughs> all right, Squishy, get in there, buddy. Get in there. Oh, you 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 need to get in, bud. You need Squishy. You don't know how to splish splash yet. Dang it, Squishy. All right, let's try it like that. Oh, there we go, Squishy. There we go. <laughs> all right. You see it? You can still breathe, huh, buddy? Your little slimy nose is under. Uh, is there? You go. That's right. Well, that looks amazing, Squishy. You're kind of you're kind of in the uh, the wood, though, boo. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, Squishy. And I did. If you did, give us some dap on that like button to show your support, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zuljan and Squishy signing off, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.